Question 17. So uh, let's start off with the octagon. That's the eight sided shape going around the outside. Now, with an octagon, which is eight sides, uh, we know that exterior angles, which for every regular shape, are, add up to 360. So each exterior angle is going to be 360 divided by 8, which is 45. Now that's the angle on the outside, so that's sort of that angle there, if you just picture that, that angle there. So the interior angle is then uh, 180 take away 45, which is 135, because an interior and an exterior angle together form a straight line, so that's why we're taking it away from 180. So our starting point is that we know that each interior angle of the octagon is 135, so that's 135 at D and 135 at E. Now secondly, we know that this angle here at K, this one I've marked in red, is 220 because angles all the, way, all the way around a point are 360, so this angle must be 220. So that leaves us with these two unknown angles inside this, uh, this shape here. Uh, but what we do know is they're both the same angle. So uh, what are the total angles inside this shape C, D, E, F, K, back to C add up to. Well looking at my blue lines here, can you see that it basically forms three triangles? Each triangle's angle is going to add up to 180, so the total angles inside this shape is going to be three lots of 180, which is 540. So basically 540, take away that 220, take away that 135, take away that 135, leaves us with 50 degrees. That 50 degrees is spread equally over these two angles here. So halving the 50, we get our final answer of 25.